Thank you so much for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss mathematics paper 2, locus number 19. The question says that a triangular garden ABC is such that AB equals to 8 centimeters, angle BAC equals to 45 degrees, and angle ABC equals to 75 degrees. Using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, draw the triangle ABC. Therefore, I'm going to start by drawing the triangle. I'm already having length AB, which is uh, 8 centimeters. I've already confirmed this to be 8 centimeters. Yeah. So, using my ruler, this is exactly 8 centimeters. Then now we proceed to the other conditions. The angle ABC equals to... 75 and again BAC equals to 45 so we need an angle of 45 at point A and we also need an angle of 75 at point B yeah the angle is named following the letter at the middle therefore at A we will need 45 at B we will need 75 so let me start by constructing 45 at point A 45 degrees for us to construct 45 degrees remember we are not allowed to measure the angle we are first of all going to raise a perpendicular line which is a 90 degrees then from that perpendicular line now we shall be bisecting the angle of 90 and when 90 has been bisected we will automatically get an angle equivalent to 45 we get an angle equivalent to 45 so that is a 90 degrees from point a 90 degrees then now we bisect this 90 degrees now we're going to bisect so at this point i can make an arc then i also make another arc on the same line We are using the same radius. Then now I use those marks now to make another arc at this point. And I stand on the other side and cut the first arc. Now when I join this one to the point A, I will have bisected the 90 degrees. And what I will produce, this is exactly 45 degrees. Then... Another condition is that we have to have an angle of 75 from the other side. That means now I'm supposed to construct first of all 60. So let me start with the 60 degrees. Yeah, so I'll produce 60 degrees first. This is exactly 60. Then remember at point B, at point B we can also raise a perpendicular line, which means we will have an angle equivalent to, we'll have an angle equivalent to 90 at point B. So now... I can produce 90 degrees standing at this point. So I make an arc and I also make an arc on the other side. Then now I can produce again other arcs using the first ones. So I stand there, I make an arc. I stand here, I make an arc. When I produce this line, I'll be having 90 degrees at point B. But something we should understand is that a uh, our intention is to construct 75 which means now with the 90 degrees at this point and with 60 degrees here we need to bisect the remaining 30 degrees we need to bisect the remaining 30 degrees and we shall get our 15 degrees which when joined to 60 shall be equivalent to 75 so let me now bisect this angle so i make an arc and i make another arc then standing on those arcs 
I make other acts. So I'll make an arc at this point and stand on the first one to cut the first arc. So I'm now supposed to produce a line through those arcs and B. Yes, so the bisection of 30 degrees has given me exactly 15 and 60. So this is 75 degrees now, which means the intersection here is going to be equal to point C. So now we got the triangle. Let's go to the next part where we're going to interpret some loci. We have part B here, which says that a, a water tap P is to be mounted in the garden, in the garden that is equal in distance from A, B, and C on the diagram in A above, show the position of P. So there is a water tap which is supposed to be located such that it's equidistant from point A, B, and C. A point which is equidistant from the three vertices of a triangular garden should be what we call the circum center. So the water tap will be located at the circum center. This is application now. Circum center O, okay, we are calling it P now. Circum center P <clears throat> is going to be a point such that if we use that center, we will draw a circle touching A, B, and C, which means that uh, that will be a point equidistant from the vertices. And for us to come up with the with such a center, then we need to bisect any two lines perpendicularly and we produce the bisectors, we identify their point of intersection. For instance, if we bisect A, B, we just need to stand at B, then we produce an arc and an arc on the lower side. And standing on the lower side, the, the other side, we cut the first axe. Then now we're going to produce a line which will be bisecting AB. So we just need to produce a perpendicular line here. Then we proceed. We bisect another line. It can be BC or even AC. So let's produce a line perpendicular to BC such that uh, BC is also bisected. So I need to make an arc. Need to make an arc and make an arc on this side. Then standing on the other side, I cut the first arc. So I cut this arc and also the first one. Then now I produce a line such that the arcs are joined. Good. So I have bisected line BC and also AB and I can see the bisectors are meeting at a point here inside the triangular garden. So this will be our P where the water tap will be where the water tap will be. So that is where the water tap is. <coughs> point P. Standing at that point we can draw a circle touching the vertices of the triangle and that it will mean that the point is equidistant. You see? Can pass there can also pass at B and when I go to the other side we are also passing at C yeah so this point identified here equidistant is equidistant from the vertices we can continue <clears throat> part C a section of the plot is enclosed such that a region R is formed under the following conditions the first condition one is that a CR is equal to or greater than 1.5 centimeters. When there is a loci of inequalities and you can see or equal to, then it means the loci is going to be or the locus is going to be a complete line or a circle. So from C to R, it should be 1.5 centimeters, which means that is the locus of a circle. We have to stand at C using a radius of 1.5. So, using a radius of 1.5 and we stand at C. Let me measure a radius of 1.5. Yeah, this 1.5. Then we stand at point C. 1.5 and we stand at point C. So, standing at C, a radius of 1.5. Then we make a circle. 
So just need to stand here and make a circle. Yeah. So R is going to be, remember I'm using a complete circle because it's either 1.5 or equal to, greater than or equal to. So that is the first condition. We needed to draw such a circle. Then the next condition is a R is more than 2 centimeters from line AB. So <clears throat> the locus of a point, a given distance, a given distance from a given straight line means a parallel line to AB, 2 centimeters away. A parallel line to AB, 2 centimeters away. Therefore, a parallel line to AB, 2 centimeters away, and on the upper side, because of course the region has to be in the triangular garden. Then we need now to measure just 2 centimeters. Measure 2 centimeters. So standing here, I make an arc. I make an arc there. Then I also stand on the other side. Remember there are perpendicular lines at both A and B. Therefore, with those marks and the lines where I'm making the marks are perp perpendicular, it means the line through those two marks is going to be parallel. And again, remember that... Uh, the line is strictly more than 2 centimeters, not or equal to. Therefore, more than, a, more than 1, more than 2 centimeters means a, we're going to use it dotted. And for such a case, we require the upper side of the line. Remember the line is 2 centimeters. Uh, the line here is 2 centimeters. And the line has not been complete because of strictly greater than. So we need the upper side of that region. So we don't need the region between the line and AB. We need the region above because at that line, it's strictly two centimeters, but we want the region whereby it's greater than. And finally, there is another condition here. R is nearer to CB than AC. R is nearer to CB than to a c c b and a c are two lines a locus of points which are either equidistant or greater than or nearer to one line than the other means that uh, it's the locus of the angle bisector where the two lines are meeting so c b and a c are meeting at point c therefore we bisect the angle at c so that we may get such a locus so we can bisect the angle by starting at a point like here. Then we make an arc. Then we stand at the other side. We also make an arc. Now the angle can be bisected. And remember, the condition is that uh, it's nearer. It's nearer to one side than the other. So we first of all produce the line. First of all, produce the line. And now we will be talking about... Uh, remember the first condition is uh, this line. The other locus is this circle. And now we have this bisector. Therefore, for CB or for R to be nearer CB than AC, it has to be this side. Therefore... The point we are told to shade the region is going to be here. This is where the region is bounded by all those conditions. So we identify first of all the locus. The locus which we have uh, drawn. The locus of a circle, the angle bisector, and the parallel line. They are all bounding a certain region and that is what we are calling region R. So that is where region R is by shading it. So that is how we identify region R.